Hi, my name is Susie Wolf, and I am development driver of the Williams Martini Racing Formula One team. How did I first get involved in motorsport? It started at a very young age. I think I had a good start in life because my mum met my dad when she went to buy her first motorbike from his shop. So from the age of two, I had a little motorbike. I always loved the speed, the competition and the adrenaline. And when I was eight, I started karting. And it, what started off as a hobby very quickly turned into a passion. And I moved through the various ranks and championships um, and ended up 15th in the World Championships at the age of 18. This then gave me the springboard to move into single-seater racing. I did some Formula Renault, was twice nominated for British Young Driver of the Year award. I then attempted to do a little bit of Formula 3, um, ran out of money, broke my ankle, but then was picked up by Mercedes-Benz to race for them in the German Touring Car Championship. I raced seven long years there, seven great, great years, and this led me to getting a one-off test with Williams Formula One, which went well and, and led to more. Now I have the role of development driver within the team, something I'm very proud of. There are a couple of very proud moments in my career and a couple of moments which were very defining in my career. I think the first was getting nominated for the British Young Driver of the Year Award because this got me noticed within motorsport by the right people. The next would have been being picked up by Mercedes-Benz to race for them. I think for any young racer or driver, it's being paid to race is the ultimate goal always and to race for one of the best car manufacturers in the world, the star, that was something that made me very, very proud. And of course, the third proudest moment was joining Williams Martini Racing. Um, it was always my dream to get into Formula One and to get the chance with a team like Williams um, was really a dream come true. What do I love most about motorsport? It was a passion for me. I'm a great believer that you have to find your passion in life and when you find something you really love doing, the success comes that bit easier and the tough days are that little bit easier to cope with because you're doing something you love. I'm a very competitive person, um, so I love to be successful at whatever I'm doing and I put a lot of effort in to trying to be successful. And I love when I'm out on track, just me in the car, pushing myself to the absolute limit, looking for every hundredth of a second um, and really feeling like you're pushing the boundaries. Um, and behind the scenes, you know, at Williams, we have over 500 people who are responsible for designing and building two race cars. So it's very much a team sport, but when you're out on track, it's up to you to deliver. And much is made of gender because there aren't many females in racing, but I always say gender is irre irrelevant. The most important is performance. It's the time you show on the stopwatch. I think the biggest piece of advice is never give up. People shouldn't assume that I was on a glided path to Formula One. There was many ups and downs along the way and, and unfortunately in racing there is only ever one winner and I experienced more downs than I did ups. But I was doing something I loved, I never gave up. I stayed determined, stayed focused and, and eventually my dreams and goals did come true. And that ne leads to the, the next piece of advice, dream big, we've all got to have dreams but make sure that you have a plan of how to achieve that dream because a dream without a plan, it's just a wish. I'm incredibly proud not just to, to be British, um, but for the fact that so much of Formula One, although it's a global sport, is based in, in Britain. Williams is one of the best teams in Formula One with a very long heritage, one of the most successful teams in Formula One based in our history. A team that's fighting its way back up to the front where it belongs. And I'm very proud uh, to be part of that. You have to imagine it was, it was a very momentous day for me taking to the track at Silverstone for free practice one because as a British driver, driving in one of the most iconic British Formula One teams at the anniversary um, of the 50th Grand Prix at Silverstone, it was a very special moment and seeing all the grandstands full of British flags and, and so much support, it's something that I'll remember for a long, long time.